Hey everyone, Bob here, Kitty Ford BMG HOA Ham. Today we're going to talk about the G Gable GRA ULT01 lightweight portable antenna tripod for ham radio antennas. We're going to go from original, which is good, to better to best. They're all fantastic, but I want to talk about the migration of the design and the improvements over the last year and what was just introduced onto their Amazon store this past week. My good friends over at G Gable Radio are offering a 15% discount from their Amazon store on the purchase of this newly introduced antenna tripod through May 7th, 2023 to all subscribers and viewers of the HOA Ham Radio channel. I'll leave that discount code at the end of the video and if you just can't wait that long, if you navigate to this point in the video, you'll see what that discount code is so you can go place your order right now. The tripod certainly does have a very small form factor, and if you're operating with a lightweight antenna picnic table top, you can leave it in its smallest configuration. But remember, these three legs ratchet out in multiple stop locations, and then each leg itself will twist and extend and lock in place. So you have a very broad-based tripod that is firm for larger antennas. And let's not forget about all the antennas this tripod can support in its various iterations. Let's start with two facts. First of all, the tripod is the same across all three variations. And secondly, the quality and performance is superb across all three variations. What has changed is the post configuration. While they didn't need to make any improvements, they asked ham radio operators in the US what we wanted, and they've given it to us. In version number one, it came with a UHF only connector, and then a pigtail that allowed us to connect our coax. It came with uh, ring terminals that allowed us to put banana plugs here for our radial wires. So if you had a UHF antenna, you were golden. Think toy box antenna or the G Gable 7350T that came with a UHF connection, good to go. How do you get to 3 8 by 24, which is so commonly used here in the US? You need this adapter, UHF on the bottom, and 3 8 by 24 on the top. And now you have an antenna system that can handle just about anything we can throw at it here in the US for Poda Soda Backyard Portable. On version two, we still have the same base tripod, but now we have two posts. The first one being a UHF post, and we still have the opportunity to put multiple ring terminals here for banana plug radials. What's changed is a second post. And with the second post, we now have 3 8 by 24. And so now we can install any antenna here, that's 3 8 by 24, that we have in our kit. And if we loosely put a nut here, we can then add more ring terminals. And then when we bring our coax here and tighten it, we can take our radials out. That was version number two. Version three just recently introduced has two major changes. There is a significant change to the way radials are connected, which is a significant improvement, although the other way worked fine. And then there's a massive change to the post for the 3 8 by 24 antenna systems. We're going to go to the overhead cam so we can get a closer look at this. Here's the 3 8 by 24. I'm going to swap out the post and then we'll go overhead so you can see the major changes. It's always nice when manufacturers think multi-purpose. In all three versions of the G Gable radio tripod, they've given us the ability to have a camera tripod with this adapter. So when you're not out playing ham radio with your tripod, you can snap photos of other people playing ham radio. You'll also notice on this post that there are four threaded holes at the top of the ring. And those holes are for the radial system. The UHF post also has four holes. And right now I have screwed into it two ring terminals that will accept banana plugs with radial wires for your grounding system. So let's swap out these posts and we'll talk more about the design of the 3 8 by 24. The inner ring of this stud is a metal 3 8 by 24 female receptacle. Next comes a black polymer barrier and then the metal outside ring that is the grounding system. 
G Gable Radio has provided this rubber washer so that if you use something like a Chameleon SS17 with a very large base, you keep it from coming in contact with the outer grounding ring. If you use something like a Wolf River coil antenna that has a smaller base, it would not come in contact with that outer ring and so you don't have to worry about grounding out your signal. So just be aware of that as you are planning your activation. The radial system works like this. It starts with this screw that has a Phillips head, but it also has this knurled barrel around it that you can grip with your fingers very easily. So it becomes a no tools required assembly. And then it has these spring loaded little barrels that protect the threads. So the way you do your radial system here is you grab one of these, you put on this lock washer and the lock washer is necessary. Otherwise you ground out before you get your ring terminal completely fastened or tight and then just screw it into place. And again, no tools required. So there's one, same thing on the second one. Lock washer, ring terminal, into the threaded hole. And now you're ready for a grounding system. And quite frankly, you could put all four of the ring terminals on this if you wanted to. I've been a fan of all three versions of the G Gable Radio Antenna Tripod System, and I think this one gets pretty close to perfection. If you were with me when I did my original video, you saw me gather up every antenna system I had, take it out into the field, and show how to install it. I'm doing that again, so if you've already seen that and you don't want to see the updated version, go ahead and click off and go watch another HOA Ham video. If you've not seen that, let me rapidly take you through antenna by antenna and how to install it on this system. You should get the idea pretty quick. If you have a 3 8 by 24 antenna, this system will work. If you have a UHF antenna, this system will work. Let's jump over to the park bench right now and get a look at it. Of course, the first antenna to make it onto the ULT01 MK3 tripod system will be the G Gable 7350T broadband telescoping antenna. Go ahead, put an 80 meter coil on there and make some 80 meter contacts. Adjust the sliding coil, telescope your antenna, and you're good to go. If the toy box antenna is your thing and that's how you want to POTA or prepare for emergency communication, it too has a UHF connector and it will work with this tripod system. With the right adapter and a dipole connector, you can run wire antennas using this tripod system. You can take the HOA ham method of ground radials and take that banana plug adapter and put it into the ground side of that dipole connector and then run your wire up to a mast or a tree. The LDG 9 to 1 Unun is another great way to use this tripod for a wire antenna. If only I had brought the right adapter. Plug in your ground radials, take a radiator wire up to a tree or mast, and you're good to go. If you want to stay with the UHF post and need to run a 3 8 by 24 antenna, you can use an 8035M adapter. We switched over to the 3 8 by 24 version of the post. And of course, we're going to put the G Gable 7350TC 3 8 by 24 version antenna. It's a broadband HF antenna. Yep, we're going to put that 80 meter coil on and then put the telescoping antenna on top. To adjust for residency on a frequency, you slide the coil up and down and then check it on your analyzer. If the super antenna is your thing, it too has a 3 8 by 24 post that fits with this tripod system. The whip that comes with this kit is unbelievable. You can coil it up into a really tight circle to put in a small go bag. And when you get to the operating site, uncoil it and it just straightens up and does the job. You adjust for frequency here, the same way as in theory, a Wolf River coil or the G Gable antenna, you slide this coil up and down and you check it on an analyzer. And why not? Let's get a Wolf River coil sporty 40 so we can operate 40 meters. Someday down the road, I'll show you how to put a bypass on here so you can operate this on 20 meters as well as 40 meters with just the quick connection or disconnection of a cable. This will take any one of your large 17 foot antennas, the one from Wolf River coil, your SS17, your 1979. 
I'm a huge fan of the Wolf River Coil Mini. I have the full size version, but I really like that Mini. I normally use a seven man pack collapsible antenna with this. I don't know why I love this thing. Maybe it's the ODG color, but I really like this collapsible antenna and it's what I typically use with my Silver Bullet Mini. Of course, I'm going to attach a Chameleon Antenna Cha Hybrid Micro to this antenna tripod. The Cha Hybrid Micro is part of my QTH reference antenna. You know how much of a fan I am of this. Now understand that bottom post of the Hybrid Micro is now your ground system. So you're going to have to take your coax and actually attach it to the Cha Hybrid Micro to get your signal out. Take your SS17 antenna, fully extend it, and now you have another broadbanded HF antenna that works well with the G-Gable tripod system. Those of you who followed me know I'm a big fan of the eBay seller BD7 Maple ground spike system. I'm talking, of course, of the one that has a UHF connector on the top and a UH connector on the side for your coax. With this ground spike, I can take that top unit off and with an adapter, attach it to the top of this tripod system. Now, this isn't necessary because the gable system already comes with all the kit to do this, but I am all about a rector set, Lego-like type of construction. So I keep different pieces of gear from different manufacturers that I consider the best of the best, and then I have a system that I can set up in many different configurations. So this leaves you with another UHF setting that handles all the UHF antenna systems, or with that 8035M adapter, now you can go and convert over to all your 3H by 24. No discussion about this tripod is complete without considering. Just grab your MFJ 1979, your Chameleon antenna SS17, put these full length antennas on this to get resonant on 20 meters, attach your ground radials, and you are good to go. Yep, that was a lot of antennas. If you're watching this video before May 7th, 2023, here's your discount code to go buy this tripod system at the G Gable Radio site on the Amazon store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, friend. Talk to you soon, 73.